Good morning, this is Chi Level 7, and this is Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we were in the Team Team Rocket headquarters and um, calmed down the Lake of Rage. And the Pokemon are free to do whatever they want now. <laughs> and I noticed there used to be a tree there, but looks like it's been burned. Oh well. But anyways, here's my team right now. With uh, Brock at 29, Joao at 26, MB at 33. Oh, whoops, missed the stats. I messed up. Uh, Sticky at 29, Azai at 33, and Whitney at 30. And so, what we're going to do this episode is we're going to go challenge the gym and see how well we can do because of the type advantage there. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. As you'll find, his attacks will make you shiver in this freezing gym. Are you ready to be frozen solid? I mean, keep up a hot fighting spirit against ice. Are you trying to copy, um, Lorelli? It's like, ha ha ha, you better be ready for getting frozen solid. I mean, really? That is, that is very bad of you with such behavior there. Oh, I might as well battle her. Need to think before you skate. I didn't check if I have a uh, battle animations on or not, but yeah. I so she's starting out with the jinx, and we can use our rock moves. Oh, okay, ice punch, but I got pretty high defense, so unless they have ice beam, you could have used that instead. Oh wow, jinx is super frail. I did not know that. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I noticed that I've been catching up lately, and I thought I wasn't going to upload as much um, episodes, but looks like I got that far, like the seventh gym leader in the nineteenth um, episode, something like that. So, mhm. Mm Alright, so we're gonna use a. Wow, Sweetup is faster than my Sudowoodo. What's going on here? Oh, but you're fairly heavy as well, so you gotta take a good chunk of damage. Oh, you got a super, <gasps> super effective ground step. Oh, okay, no, that didn't do much. You don't have pretty good special attack. But you did lower my accuracy twice, so I'm gonna have it to switch out because I'm gonna have a very time, very hard time hitting you. Yeah, you have another swing up there. Um, try. I'm trying not to use those. Oh well. Okay, Sticky, your turn. Get rid of its uh, accuracy drops by switching. And I might sound like I'm uh, not enthusiastic or anything because I just got up. I got up in the morning and. Most of the time I feel so grumpy that you have been noticing, like, why am I not feel excited or something? <laughs> and I also have to finish my paper as well, so... I shouldn't have done it, but since I did, well, I just have to do it. <laughs> do you see how serious we are? Um, no, you're not. You're not serious. You're a joke. Oh no, I messed up. Dang it. <laughs> well, there's always to exit that room and then um and then to go back and fix it. All right, so this is r the third room. Okay. Well, in order to push some blocks, we need to battle some trainers. And not surprisingly, we are forced to battle. Are you scared to fight me? No, it's the environmental factors that's gonna affect me. <laughs> oh, and this is not a nice type Pokemon. This is a pure water type that eventually evolves into a that eventually evolves into an ice type Pokemon. So Seal is a pure water. Dugong is um, dull water and ice. Okay, so I'm gonna use a. 
headbutt because oh okay you got some uh, priority moves uh, coming at me this shouldn't be too hard isn't it yeah we just barely made it in we just barely inflicted half damage so seal was taken down <laughs> Let's see, what would happen if we got the seventh batch? We the team rocket takes over the team rocket takes over the golden rod tower and what else? And then after that is the Blackthorn City Gym. After that we have to um battle Ho oh. After that we have Victory Road and then uh Pokemon name. Oh, so that's not much to we're almost done with the half story. We're not very far from the game. Wow, well, we still have the Kanto side to... to explore. And about the Kanto region, looks like we have to... Um, we have to decide which gym would be nearby. Because you can follow in a strict format like what Serbi.net shows, but <clears throat> sometimes you have more access to different cities. But definitely the first gym will most likely be Lieutenant Surge because his um his Vermilion gym. Okay, so I forgot how I how I did this earlier. Okay, I go here, up, right, down. Oh shoot! If I can re if I can remember that is. Okay, um, like this. Okay. Having been playing this game for a while, or the original, well, the original series doesn't have pushing ice blocks like this. It's like a full room. Okay, so I'm up against the tight disadvantage. Oh my goodness, Aqua Ring. Okay, you didn't attack yet, but you're gonna, you're gonna heal yourself though. Okay, super effective hit. Do something. Oh, it's a critical hit. Dang, I just got lucky, isn't it? <laughs> And she only has one Pokemon. Okay. Um, shoot. This and that. Um. Wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh. Oh, wait a second. How about right here? Oh, wait, you can't, you can't push that. What? Um. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, no, you still can't make that. Hmm. Okay, let's try again, shall we? <laughs> okay, um... Oh yeah, that is. After this battle, then you can reach price. Okay, this is getting smoothy. Except we have to battle this, um... This opponent. And I'm up against a shelter who has pretty high defense, so I better um, switch out. <laughs> Do you even have skill link? Five times? Three. Nope, you don't have skill link. You got a different ability. If he had Shell Smash in this game, you would have been the top tier threat, but since it's introduced in Generation 5, you didn't have that luxury. You won't have that luxury yet. Okay, so you sent out the Cloister. And just like before, we're gonna use a Thunder Punch, and hopefully you can, we can take it out, even though you have pretty high defense. I hope this takes it out. No, almost. 
Are you trying to go competitive? Wow, there's no competitiveness for you, so... <laughs> Off you go. And is it a shelter? Oh no, it's a seal. And then this should this should end the battle. All right, I'll tell you Price's secret. Nah, I don't want to hear it. I'll just battle him and get to the point. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of healing because um, let's see, one super potion on um, Brock. And we should be able to, we should be able to be fine without any problems. So without further ado, let's begin. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I price the winner trainer shall demonstrate my power. Okay. Since since you know better than me, I'm gonna see how much you have. Okay, you got three Pokemon then. You gotta start with a seal. That's not an ice type Pokemon there. Okay. We'll just switch to a hard heading Joel and we can oh hell, hell, oh the weather condition. That's gonna give me a little bit of a hard time, isn't it? <laughs> You're not a nice type yet, that's why you hit yourself with the hell. <laughs> I think I think any ice Pokemon that can learn hell can also learn um rain dance. And the TM that he gives me, that, that he gives us unfortunately doesn't is unfortunately it's not icy wind. It wasn't it's not. <laughs> um let's see, it's not gonna do half damage though, but the hail damage won't be able to be enough to take it out and he might use hyper potions, uh you're gonna use a uh, rock smash. Yep, you have a rest. That takes me takes me to use three headbutts. I don't know if this is gonna be a stalling match or not. Okay, is this turn four? I think it is. Um, Rock Smash, I guess? Wait, so he slept once. So he's gonna sleep again. The hail stopped, and then last one should be able to take it out. Yep. Dang, that almost took that took a little longer than I thought it would be. Alright, so what's his next one? Oh, sticky. Congratulations. Okay, Pilo Swine, okay. Well Pilo Swine is an ice ground type. Um if I use rock type attacks it would be neutral. Water type moves, it would be super effective. Um, it has a fighting move, so I'll s I might stay in. And do you have any other attacks? Nope, just dark and ghost type moves. Um, I'll just stay in. Wow, level thirty-four. You're like a lot stronger. Okay, see how much this rock smash does. It does little to none, but your defense fell though. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, Blizzard! Hello? <laughs> oh, that's a pretty strong ice-type move. Oh, no, no! Oh, Joel, no! Oh, that Blizzard was far too powerful there. What the hell? 
<laughs> wow, this really, really sucks, man. Um, Whitney, you got um, you can take hits well, couldn't you? I need your help. I'm seriously fucked. Wow, your defense, your defense fell by one stage. Take a good chunk chunk of damage. Okay, that did that did a that did far too much now. <laughs> And thank you for not missing though. Please, take it out, take it out. Oh, almost took it out, but you missed. Your mud bomb missed. Um, let's see, you're gonna go for... You're gonna go heal again, aren't you? Yep, you're gonna heal again. Please don't miss, please don't miss. Okay, good. <clears throat> we just need one more body slam. Wow, that did 50%, just about right. Man, Whitney's just giving zero fucks on its accuracy dropped. <laughs> oh, you still survive with a tiny slither of health. Oh, and you hit me with mud bomb. Shoot. Um, let's see. Um. Wow, since my accuracy dropped. And it didn't miss. Get out of there, power swine. Shoot. But this is, this is his ace though, so... I'm actually impressed. And you have a deal gone, last one. Great. Now what can I do? Should I go for the risk? I have super effective super effective rock moves. But then he has super effective water type moves. That's if he have that's if he has any. <clears throat> okay, Brock. Let's see what you can do against a deal gong. Just like you took out any other dugongs before, this one shouldn't be a problem. Your oh, beam's a nice type move. Okay, it's not super effective, but that still did a chunk of damage. Oh wow, your your rock stab isn't doing half yet. Shoot, um, go for a low kick. Okay, I think this is all. You, I think this is you, all you can do. And my attack fell. I might inflict less damage. Okay, so I need to heal. Um, if I don't heal, I might be screwed. Surprised you don't have water type moves yet. Full restore. Oh, wow. I... Wow, you must be kidding me. You start you are starting to use the the highest grade item which is full restore in the gym lead in the gym battle. Wow, you got I didn't I didn't see it until now. Does Jasmine use does Jasmine use full restores? I don't know. I think she used hyper potion, but but dang <laughs> Alright, so you, or I think you can only spam your aura beams. I can take another hit or two. Okay, I think you, I think you're like out damaging me for quite a bit here. I don't know if I can live with another attack. Yep, you don't have surf. I think your aura beams the only thing you can spam. Wow, that that did a lot of damage now. Come on. Are you <laughs> Hello, you went to rest. It was just as I was about to take you out and this is probably the stalliest match here. Okay, let's count a sleep counter. Um Okay, your quick clock comes through. Okay, one. Fast asleep, okay. Sleep talk. Um, oh, okay. You failed. <laughs> okay, sleep counter number two. Okay. okay, yep, you finally got to attack me. A critical hit! Wow, we were 
almost taken it down. What is this? Oh, no. That's two already. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, take, please finish it off with the nightshade. Oh, sleep talk? You know you can sleep for two turns exactly. Why would you use sleep talk then? Oh. <gasps> um, okay, Shadow Snake, take it out. Please, please. We need to end this battle soon. Critical hit, thank you. Oh, seriously, I just lost two members. I lost Joel and Brock. We've been together through the beginning. Well, much for Retata, but for... But for Brock, we just got it after the third badge. No. <laughs> Oh, now we need different members now. You will never be forgotten. All those times that we've been through. Oh, no. Well, anyways, we got the badge now, so... We can progress the story. But without without Joel and Brock on our side anymore because it's dead. <clears throat> no... Alright, so we have to go to the Pokemon Center, and Professor Elm is force calling me. <clears throat> How are things going? I call because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sort of bug you. Take care. Well, I don't know about that. It, Team Rocket was gone three years ago. Are you telling me it's back? Alright, but anyways... We need to do a few... We need to do some grinding, too. Okay, so... So, we need to deposit those two. We need to deposit... Brock... And... Joel. So, yeah. Two death. <laughs> and then we need to put in, um... We need to put in, uh... Nini and Tolly back. Yeah, I put those on standby because they're both weak against ice, but since I don't have to deal with the ice gym anymore, it's all good and it's all well and good. Alright, so that is it for this episode. We have just got the seventh seventh badge from the ice tide gym leader and then on the next episode it's gonna be one hell of a sh one hell of a lot of uh, things to take on with the team rocket stuff that surrounds golden rod city but that will wait till next time so thank you for watching and i'll see you wait i already said next time did i oh shoot i messed up already anyways bye